Well, Bunny, let's talk Trump. Let's talk <laughs> Trump. Now, we recently had a request or two from fans. Yes. Asking us Damn. here on the Pope on Film podcast to attack Trump again. I mean... Sure, sure. We've we've roasted him from time to time here and there on uh, some episodes, most episodes. Yes, most we have episodes. spent some time roasting him from time to time. But these fans are talking, of course, about our epic takedown of Donald Trump mm -hmm. that we did immediately after Donald Trump's inauguration. It's a very popular post of ours on SoundCloud and Facebooks and the like. It's entitled "Fuck Trump." Still very popular. <laughs> Yes. On on SoundCloud, all of that. So now what people are saying that, that, that we should attack Trump again, what they're really saying here is basically uh, No, Eleanor, you can't have that. Eleanor, stop. 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 Here, here. Look, the pigeon. You want to color that? Oh, look. I put it over there. You'll need to go over there to color it. Stop it with all of these papers, okay? None of these papers are yours. I know you're excited. You have a crayon in your hand, and you're like a you're like a junkie. You're like a junkie. Where is Eleanor, and what has he had? <laughs> okay, but if you want to color that, you have to get off the chair. If you can get on the chair, you can get off the chair. I have seen you get off the chair. Let me help you. Let me help you. You don't need help, but let me help you. There you go. So basically, here, here's what I'm getting at. What people want from yeah. us. Basically, people want us to do a sequel. Yes, exactly. People want us to, 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 to stoop so low as to do a fuck Trump 2 electric boogaloo of sorts. Uh -huh. and, I, and, and I am sure that a sequel, a fuck Trump 2, would be big for us. You yes. know? It would be real big. Because uh, our first... Uh, fuck Trump was a big one. So, uh, <clears throat> let me now explain why we are not going to be attacking Trump in this episode. Okay. okay. We are not. Okay. 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 Look, let me explain to you why we won't be attacking Trump. But oh, no. now is not the time to be. <laughs> divisive with finger quotes that I did physically that I tried to change my tone so that you could hear my finger quotes. Now it's not the time to be divisive. We mm -hmm. need to put aside our differences and unify as a nation. <laughs> so, much, so much anger. So much divisiveness. We all need to just let go. Of our media created hate rage, bunny. Yes. Of our media created liberal hate rage, intellectual biasness. Uh huh. And just come together as one glorious, proud, patriotic nation of people, bunny. Yes. Or at least that's what all of the white people are telling me now that a black man isn't in charge. <laughs> Because let's not forget that white America, the majority of white America, a lot of white America, a huge uh, portion of white America was raging for eight years. Yes. These angry, holier than thou, duplicitous little twat muffins couldn't stand the idea of a smart, well-educated black man running the free world. They spent eight full years. Almost a decade uh -huh. attacking the president in the worst possible way, calling him a goddamn terrorist, literally burning him in effigy, covering their beaten up pickup trucks with the meanest bumper stickers imaginable, wearing shirts with pictures of our president with a gun's crosshairs on him, yeah. making up shit to demonize the man like Obama. He's going to kill all the Christians, outlaw the Bible. He's helping terrorists destroy the church. Jesus Christ, I was promised so many awesome things. Yes. <laughs> White America promised me that we were inches away from this post-apocalyptic wasteland where Obama was going to end up 
secretly being Dr. Doom this whole time. And he was going to set all the nuclear weapons to destroy America and outlaw the Bible, kill all the Christians. It, it killed the nation's old people. Like, I was promised so much awesome stuff. I was going to have, like, a human skull suit and stuff. Mm-hmm. I was going to be riding the wastelands, searching for, for water, you know. It was going to be awesome. All of my plans were ruined. Thanks, white people. Yes. I, I was promised so much by these people who literally wanted the president dead. I, I was working on a guitar that shot flames. Oh, yeah. You would have yeah. been. You would been. You would have been ahead of your time. You would have yeah. been ahead of your time. Now that's 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 a. <laughs> And now these same people, these same angry, racist, pissed off, violent motherfuckers are now wearing halos going, Obama is a dirty, violent, Christian, hating, Muslim, son of a... Oh, wait, the president is white now? Well, now is the time for unity, guys. Wow. Why are the (laughs) left being... Why are the left being so disrespectful of our president? Mm Mm-hmm. These Something to do with him being a douche waffle. Fump. Yeah. I say thump. So, guys. So, people. <laughs> no, we will not be attacking President Trump, okay? And this will not be fuck Trump to electric boogaloo that everybody wants, okay? Mm-hmm. We will not. We will not be recording an epic takedown of the president right here. Okay. Okay. And I know everyone's thinking, oh, aren't you already recording an epic takedown of the president? No, no, we are not recording an epic takedown of the president right now. And let me tell you, let me explain to you why we will not be recording an epic takedown of the president right now. Uh Um, One thing that this past week in Manafort Monday, one thing that this past week has taught me is that, we don't need to. No. We don't need to attack the president. We don't need to write a scathing critique of his faults. We don't need to blog or podcast or do anything at this point uh, and, 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 quote, take down the president. Because nine or ten months, however long it's been, into this spectacular career implosion, it's quite clear to me that Donald Trump is busy destroying his own presidency, right? It's ridiculous. His political career his political career is not a bull in a china shop. His political career is the China shop was hiring and said, we need someone different to work here. Yes. A fresh perspective. Let's change the way we we do China shops. Hey, let's hire that angry bull that's always hanging around. I see nothing wrong with hiring this bull to work at our China shop. Nothing could go wrong. We need to give him a chance, people. Yes. Basically, that's Trump. Mm -hmm. So what we, the American people, are watching right now is just the slow, agonizing, infuriating, and altogether amazing flaming.